Have you ever wondered why the exact same diesel engine, same turbo, same injectors, same pistons, recommends 5W30 in Europe, 5W40 in South Africa and Australia, but often 5W40 or even 15W40 in the United States? It sounds like a small detail, but that single number on the bottle affects your turbo health, your DPF, your oil temperatures, and your engine's long-term wear. Most drivers think it's just climate. Others blame fuel quality or emissions rules or regional tuning. The truth? It's a mix of regulation, engineering, oil chemistry, and real-world driving conditions. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why oil grades change by country and which one makes the most sense for your diesel. Let's break it down like a mechanic, not a marketing brochure. Let's start with real engines you probably recognize. The VW 2.0 TDI. In Europe, they recommend 5W30 with ACE or C3 specification. In the USA, it's 5W40 with API CK4, the BMW B47 engine. In the UK and EU, they recommend 0W30 or 5W30. In Australia, it's 5W40 recommended for hot climates. In South Africa, 5W40 is widely used due to heat and dust, the PSA Peugeot HDI engines. In Europe, 0W30 C2. In India, 5W30 due to BS6 emissions rules. In the Middle East and Africa, 5W40 for heat resistance. These are the same engines mechanically. So why the difference? Because every region has different priorities. Europe focuses on emission systems and long service intervals. Australia and South Africa fight extreme heat and dust. The US market expects heavy load durability. India focuses on BS6 emissions requirements. Canada prioritizes cold start performance. Now let's talk about how emissions rules actually decide what oil you should use. Diesels are built around emission systems like DPF, diesel particulate filters, SCR with AdBlue, and EGR valves. Europe uses ACEA C-spec oils, C2 and C3 to protect these systems. These oils are low SAPs, designed for clean DPF operation, and made for long oil change intervals up to 30,000 kilometers. The United States doesn't use ACEA standards for cars. Instead, they use API CK4, which is thicker and designed for high shear loads, hot running, and heavy duty cycles like towing and long highway trips. Neither is better. They're optimized for different environments and regulations. Fuel quality also plays a massive role in oil choice, and this is something most people completely overlook. In Europe, diesel has higher cetane, 51 plus very consistent quality, which is perfect for low viscosity C2 and C3 oils. In the USA and Canada, cetane is typically 40 to 47. Engines may run slightly louder with this fuel. Thicker oils often reduce noise and wear in these conditions. In Australia and South Africa, diesel quality varies by region. Hot climate plus long drives means oil temperatures run high, which is why 5W40 is preferred for stability. In India, BS6 fuel is low sulfur and modern, but stop and go traffic can generate more soot. So 5W30 C3 is recommended. Now let's talk about viscosity in diesel engines because this is where HTHS matters most. A diesel engine produces higher compression, more cylinder pressure, more soot loading, hotter turbocharger bearings, and more shear on the oil. The key factor here is HTHS. High temperature, high shear, not just the number on the bottle. 5W30 ACEA C3 gives you balanced protection plus DPF safety. 5W40 API CK4 has higher HTHS and stronger protection under heat. 0W30 is best for cold climates like Canada or the UK in winter. The second number, the 30 or the 40, tells you how thick the oil is at operating temperature. That's what protects your turbo and bearings when everything is running hot. People think hot countries must use thicker oil and cold countries must use thinner oil. It's partially true, but incomplete. Europe is not cold everywhere. Spain, Italy, Greece, and Portugal get extremely hot summers, yet still run 5W30. Why? Because their emissions laws are strict and engines are tuned to match them. Australia and South Africa, however, are hot and dusty. Diesel engines there often run hotter and turbos work harder. This is why mechanics in those markets overwhelmingly recommend 5W40. Canada and the UK need excellent cold flow in winter, 
So 0W30 and 5W30 are ideal, but summer towing or long highway trips may justify a switch to 5W40. Here's where it gets really interesting. Used oil analyses from thousands of diesel drivers show consistent patterns. Engines in hot climates like the USA South, Australia, and South Africa often show lower wear metals when using 5W40 instead of 5W30. High mileage diesels, over 100,000 miles, often maintain oil pressure better with 5W40. Engines that tow or do long high-speed drives keep viscosity more stable with 5W40. And 5W30 low saps oils remain ideal for protecting DPFs in urban driving in the UK, India, and Europe. This is real-world evidence, not theory. This is what actually happens inside engines when you analyze the oil after thousands of kilometers of use. So what oil should you actually use? Here's the simple guide. Use 5W30 ACEA C2 or C3 if you live in the UK, Europe, or India. If you drive mostly city miles, if you want maximum DPF lifespan, if your car is under warranty using that spec, or if you have modern BS6 or Euro 6 emission systems, use 5W40 if you live in a hot climate like Australia, South Africa, or the US South. If you tow or drive long distances, if you have over 100,000 miles on your engine, if your engine has rising oil consumption, if you want extra protection for the turbo, or if you drive aggressively or up long mountain grades, use 0W30 if you live in Canada, UK winter, or northern climates. If you need reliable cold start flow and freezing temperatures, you're not breaking rules by choosing a different viscosity than what's in your manual. You're matching the oil to your real driving conditions not just what appears in a manual written around regulatory tests. The manual recommendation is based on the emissions regulations and typical driving conditions in your region when the car was certified. But your actual driving might be completely different. If you live in Australia but mostly do short city trips with a modern DPF-equipped diesel, 5W Ducormi 30C3 might actually be better for you than the typical 5W40 recommendation. If you live in Europe but regularly tow a caravan in summer heat, 5W40 might give you better protection than the standard 5W30. The key is understanding what each viscosity grade actually does and matching it to your real-world use. Here's the bottom line. Oil viscosity recommendations vary by country because regulations vary, fuel quality varies, climate varies, and typical driving patterns vary. The same engine needs different protection strategies in different environments. Europe prioritizes emissions compliance and DPF longevity with thinner, low saps oils. Hot climates prioritize thermal stability and turbo protection with thicker oils. Cold climates prioritize cold start flow with zero W oils. None of these approaches is wrong. They're all correct for their specific context. Your job as a diesel owner is to understand your context and choose accordingly. Look at your actual driving. Are you doing mostly short city trips or long highway drives? Do you tow regularly or drive unloaded? Do you live in extreme heat or extreme cold? Is your engine high mileage or relatively new? Does it have a DPF that you need to protect? Answer these questions honestly and the right oil viscosity becomes obvious. Don't just blindly follow the manual or the oil that was in the car when you bought it. Think about what your engine actually experiences every day and choose the oil that matches that reality. Your diesel engine doesn't care what country it was sold in. It cares about having the right protection for the conditions it's actually running in. Give it that and it'll reward you with hundreds of thousands of kilometers of reliable service. What oil viscosity do you use in your diesel and why did you choose it? Share your experience and location in the comments. Let's build a real-world database of what actually works in different conditions. If this video changed how you think about oil viscosity and helped you understand why recommendations vary, hit that like button and subscribe for more diesel knowledge based on engineering and real-world evidence, not just marketing.